Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. If you're a language teacher teaching either English or Spanish or Chinese or French or German, in fact, any language, I think you're going to love this technology. It allows you to create loads and loads of different activity types to engage with your students and to check their learning and understanding of a whole range of different things. It's all based around loads and loads of activity types that you can create and then share with your students. Students. I've been using this and presenting this in conferences recently and I have to say it's probably the most popular technology that I've demonstrated to teachers for a really long time. The great news is as well it's free. You can make up to five different activity types for free. So what I'm going to do is quickly take you through the technology, show you some examples because there really are loads and loads of activity types that you can do and then I'm going to take you through how I created some of these activities and give you a few tips tips about using the free tool. Even the paid tool is actually quite reasonable, but we'll focus on the free tool today. Let's get started. And as always, if you like the video, please like it. Please share it with other teachers. Please comment on it. And of course, if you want to come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads and loads of free videos on different uh, technologies, particularly in language teaching. Sign up to the newsletter and uh, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's really quickly start by just doing a few demos. Let's just click on create activity just to give you an idea straight away of all the activity types that you've got available to you. So you've got all these different activity types that you can do. And then you've also got printables and pro templates as well. But these are the things that I want to focus on for now. And all of them can either be used in an online teaching situation or we could use them, of course, in class with the students, get them to work in groups and do the activities together. Let's just have a quick look at some of my activities. And I'm just going to show you a really simple one first, which is just simply a word jumble activity. And what I do is I just simply write out the sentences and then I can play the game or the students can play the game. And simply they have to just put the words in order. So, for example, this one is Google Earth is an interactive uh, map okay and then you get them the marks so you just write in any sentences and uh, it, you just have to reproduce those get the students to reproduce those sentences now this was an activity I was doing with teachers and I was asking them to kind of complete sentence about different technologies so like answer garden is a quick way is a quick way of asking questions and it gives me immediate points and and uh, tells me how many I've got wrong correctly etc etc now I'm going to quickly show you how I did this game and I can just click on edit content here and you can see all I did was just write the sentences out so these are all sentences that they were for a teacher training session that I was doing uh, language teachers and I just simply wanted to make some sentences and then get them to play the game now to get the students to play to play the game, all I need to do is click on share, set assignment. I can even set it that they've got to enter their name. Click on choose the leaderboard, it's good fun. Click on start and then share that link with the students. They click on the link, uh, perhaps if you're doing a Zoom session, and then they can play the game. And the brilliant thing is afterwards you get loads of information by clicking on my results. You get loads of information about the activity. So for example, here I've got an example of 82 students that did this activity. And if I click here, I get really detailed information about which answers they got wrong, which ones they got correct, who did it the quickest, etc, etc. Now in this particular game time, I played the game anonymously, but you can actually ask for the student's name. So not only is it great because you can play these games with the students, but it's also great because you get loads and loads of information about how the students performed. Now I'm going to quickly demonstrate another one. This is a draw force game. This works really well. Again, we were actually playing an activity where we had to introduce ourselves to each other and we, were, we did it by playing these games and learning things about ourselves. So I just simply wrote out some true sentences about me and some force. I did an introduction about myself, then I played the game and the students had to decide whether the sentences are true or false. So really simple to make, literally took me seconds. This is how the game works. The sentences come onto the screen and you just simply click on true or false. So Russell is English, true. Next sentence. Uh, Russell used to be an English teacher, true.
That's all likes football. True. Okay, and very, very simply, okay, force. Okay, we won't do any more. You can see how simple the game is. Again, to share that game, all I need to do was to click on the share button, click on set assignments. Don't forget, I can ask for the student's name if I want. The leaderboard's good fun because students can write up their names. Click on start and share that link with the students. So simple to play these games. Need to set up an account. You can sign up for a, an account. You've got a whole series of activities that you can create, but you are limited in the free account to use only five different activities. But the great thing is, is that you can go in and edit those activities and use them time and time and time again. So I can click, for example, and open up an activity and edit it and simply change the sentences and then play the game with a different group of students. So that's a really nice thing that once you've created your activities, you can keep using them again and again and again. Now, one of the really nice buttons is the results section. If we click on the results and you can see here some of the activities that I've been doing. And if I click, for example, on this activity here, let's take this as an example. Let's go to another one actually. Let's look at this one here. So different sentences and we get a breakdown of what sent how many people got the answers correct. We get a breakdown here of um, again I was playing this game anonymously but as, I've, as you've seen you can insist that the students provide their names. This is obviously because I was just do, simply doing a teacher training session but I can see how long it took people, who was the quickest, how many answers they got correct, their scores etc. So it can really help me to understand uh, which questions the students answered, which questions were more difficult, where I may have to do more work etc. So the results uh, that you receive is really, really useful in terms of you being able to act upon them and focus on what you need to teach again or repeat, etc. Activity that I did the other day that I really like, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this so you can see how you can edit, is a getting to know you activity, which I actually got the students to do in groups. So I put them into Zoom, put them into breakout rooms. One student opened this wheel up. So I shared the wheel with the different groups before they went into the breakout rooms and then they could play this game. And I'm just going to click on it. And the game, I love the way the game works because it was just a getting to know you uh, activity where they students spin a wheel, a question comes up and then they have to discuss this question. But the lovely thing is that once they finish discussing the question, they click on eliminate, that disappears, and then they can spin again. So really, really nice if you're trying to get your students to do speaking activities, perhaps at the beginning of a course, this can be a fun way of students working together. And you could use this online. Remember, you need to share it with the students before they move into breakout rooms so that one person in the breakout room can click on the link, open it up, and then play the game with the rest of the students. Remember to edit the content, you simply click here and just add your questions. So it's simple as, as that. You know, what did you do on your last holiday? And I could just add in as many questions, don't forget to click on done as I wanted, and then the game can begin. So this is a really wonderful site. Now, unfortunately, I can't get any kind of deals on this particular uh, website, or I did try to contact the company and ask them if they're interested in offering my uh, users a discount, but they don't have any system like that. But I must say, if you click on upgrade, uh, it is actually very reasonable and then you get unlimited number of games and then you get extra games that are available to you as well. Um, so you may want to look into that. I've been working with the free one. I must admit I have now got a paid account. I'm sorry that I can't give you a special offer. That would be brilliant. But unfortunately, at the moment, the company uh, doesn't offer any. But I think this is a great uh, website to look at if you're a language teacher. Hope you found that use video useful. Uh, if you come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, lots more free videos. We've got a special section on languages as well as a special section on Zoom and another one on Edmodel, which are both very popular. I've even got a few specific tools for language teachers highlighted on the opening page. If you want to keep up with my work, the best thing to do really is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the new videos, the webinars, the blogs and the online courses. You can also, of course, sign up 
or subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me from YouTube. And finally, if you do want to contact me about doing some online training with your organization, or I even doing, uh, I'm even doing a few one-to-one -one sessions at the moment in things like Camtasia and Zoom, then please contact me from the website. And thank you very much.